Hello, this is Dino, and welcome to Digitspin.com Crypto. So basically, I wanted to give us an update on the Electronium fork transfer. So my last video, I reported on a patch that uh, Electronium uh, was uh, trying to get in place. And uh, though the patch worked well to move things along, um, unfortunately, it, it is not solving... Uh, blocks with any transactions inside of it so there is a failure in that so let's take a quick look at what's going on we're going to take a look at our node here and uh, let's get a current status on the node so uh, the good news is is now we're, uh, we're currently working on block 511 307 511 which is a bonus uh, we've, we've we've hit quite a few blocks and um, that is working towards moving the uh, difficulty level down but um, we still have a long way to go and unfortunately uh, if we take a look let's move this out of the way if we take a look at uh, uh, the folks at Nanopool they were um, telling us that uh, through their Twitter that uh, the ETN patch did not resolve the rejection issue so the mining blocks are uh, the empty mining blocks are still happening, and um, uh, Electronium is working with them now. It seems like Nanopool has really stepped up their game to um, compared to the other pools who have taken a more passive approach. Nanopool really has um, uh, shined pretty good here, uh, interacting with Electronium to try to make things happen and try to get this coin back on track. Because as we all know, uh, we need to have this working. We need to, to get this in place. We really can't wait two weeks, uh, three weeks for this to straighten out. And um, uh, the faster the better. Uh, last thing we need are any forks or any issues that are distracting people. We need to keep this, uh, this chain rocking. So uh, Nanopool clearly is... Uh, is, is, is it, working with the uh, with the ETN developers so that's a good sign that goes to show the effort uh, uh, the yeoman's effort that's being applied here to uh, get this taken care of uh, from the Electronium team and luckily we have a um, a uh, hero here with Nanopool to try to make sure that this happens also so um, we here at Digispin Crypto have definitely put some some GPUs onto Nanopool Nanopool is our home site for ETN and uh, where we used to mine it before the ASICs took over um, and so uh, uh, this is good news um, in, in an odd sense uh, it's being worked on uh, there's always some difficulties but this is going to get sorted out I just don't want it to take so long so that uh, we have any fracturing um, behind the scenes uh, we'll go from there now with Nanopool here, we can take a quick look. You can see that uh, in the last day, we, we've been banging out uh, quite a few blocks. We've got, uh, what, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks in, in a span of eight hours. So that's just awesome. Also, you can see here a good amount of hash that's been thrown at this. Um, I would tend to think some of it is rented. Uh, I would tend to think that some of it uh, is people getting involved um, in some some uh, farms or somebody really throwing things at it this this here looks rented this flat plateau um, but when we start to to see these peaks uh, and then increases here this uh, obviously is in individuals or other farms now starting to participate and get back into things if we take a look um, the good news here is we're starting to see interaction uh, with the charting and the data coming through and um, as you can see uh, this is starting to represent um, the block time um, so this is what you would expect to see this large uh, increase in the block time transaction and if you noticed because of all these hits um, in this recent period that time has dropped significantly now I don't know if that's going to stay there this this could camel toe back up um, a bit 
but uh, I would expect that to hopefully uh, start to work its way down and you can see here um, that we're starting to make some good progress so that's our current news um, hang tough and tight things will straighten out electronium is dedicated um, they will get this solved I just hope that it gets solved and resolved and we're back on track um, before uh, uh, any other weird things that go on there are some f a fair hash and a few others that are still mining on the old block chain and those users are going to be disappointed when all those coins disappear um, or they're not actually there and um, additionally hoping that uh, we don't see a fork however if you look at the Monero I think what four forks spawned off of their conversion when they did uh, when they kicked the ASICs off uh, they left us with uh, a whole bunch of different Monero forks and it is possible it's going to happen here also um, that you may see one or two as you know Bitmain with the ASICs they like to take control of coins and they may take advantage of this to um, uh, to create a fork coin um, but it won't be electronium it won't represent electronium and it won't uh, be what we invested in and um, so uh, go strong go go electronium and let's get this taken care of hey thanks for watching uh, our new channel we appreciate any of the likes um, and or comments down below I will respond to every comment if you don't like what we're doing here obviously you know the thumbs down uh, and we will talk to you next time thank you